Since we closed the doors of our church buildings back in March, we've all had difficulties, but we've also known blessing. We've seen the church rise to the challenge of the times, working to meet the needs of the most vulnerable in our community. Via online means, our life groups and other fellowships have gone deeper with God and with one another as they have learned together and supported one another. Instead of gathering in one physical place to worship God on a Sunday, we've gathered online and worshipped God in hundreds of different locations. Not just in Newton Ards, but people have been part of our fellowship from other parts of the world. We've missed being together though. We've missed seeing one another. We've missed worshipping side by side with one another. Now, with restrictions easing, we want to let you know our current plans for beginning to gather physically for Sunday worship again. Up until now, participating in Sunday worship has meant joining in through video, at home, with family or by ourselves. For many of us, that is likely to continue for some time. Through July, some of us will be able to gather in one another's homes to join in with the online Sunday worship service together. If you're healthy and able, maybe you could get together with some people from your life group or other church friends. We should do this carefully and in line with all the latest government and health service guidance about numbers, hygiene and distancing. Keep a note of who you've been with and stick to the same group of people each week. It's very important that no one feels under any pressure to physically gather with others until they are ready to do so. So you should feel free to invite people and they should feel free to say no. The church met in homes for the first 200 years of its existence and Movilla Abbey Church and many other fellowships around the world continue to worship God in homes as part of their normal way of life. If you've never done this before, now is a great chance to experience this blessing. Our hope is that in August, our 11am online service will be able to be broadcast live from our church building and that some small numbers can also meet safely there as well. This will mean that you can continue to participate in the service at home, if that's preferable for you, or gathered with others, maybe in a home or meeting in the church building. From September, we hope to be able to accommodate more people in the church building for our gathered worship, along with most of those who will be leading worship. We will also continue to broadcast online so that those who need to remain at home will be no less a part of worship or the gathered church. This plan was developed in line with guidance from the Methodist Church in Ireland, the Church of Ireland and the Northern Ireland Executive. But more than that, it is underpinned by Jesus' teaching that we should love one another, both in our desire to worship together and in our desire to keep one another safe. Now, we don't know how government guidance might change or develop as we go forward, but this is our plan for now. And we'll make sure to keep you up to date with any developments through our social media channels and we look forward very much to seeing you soon. Grace and peace be with you.